Hey Boogie with the hoodie. Hey Boogie with the hoodie. Man, it's about time a New York artist came out and made a hit album, song, or whatever. Young and May, where you at? Where you at, girl? Where you at? Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today I'm gonna be doing a review on A Boogie with the Hoodies new album, The Bigger Artist. Don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews and more reactions. Hit a like, hit that notification bell, and in the comment section, tell me what is your favorite song from A Boogie with the Hoodie because this is my first time actually listening to a whole A Boogie with the Hoodie album or any kind of project or any music whatsoever. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. A Boogie with the Hoodie comes from the Bronx and is part of the 2017 Double XL freshman class. Atlanta Records signed them based off of streams only like he don't have no radio play or nothing so he got a major deal through there and i salute him for that and i don't even really knew why he signed a music deal with atlantic but he said in an interview that the reason he really signed to atlantic is because you have to go through something to understand what it is and he said he signed for a six album record deal but I mean, if you get in paper, I can't hate you on that, bruh. But let's go ahead and check out the cover. The cover is him, he has his hand over some paper and it's like he's controlling people that was in his life. And I mean, it's okay, but it's okay. He said in an interview that the reason he made this album cover like it is is because he has to show that People that used to play with him, now the tables have turned and now he's actually using them. And that's kind of a dope aspect as far as the cover wise. But what I actually like about the bigger artist is that he has a lot of catchy songs on this album. Like number four, say A, you know, it really doesn't have a, a strong subject matter or content on this song, but just by him how he flows on it is very catchy and number two undefeated featuring 21 savage is a very very dope song um you know once again it's not really talking about anything it's just about basically him being undefeated as far as what he's going through in life in 21 savage i'm not even going to even speak on him but it's catchy Number one, No Promises, really was intriguing to me because the reason he made this song is because he did a show and this girl after the show got shot in the head with a random bullet and he sent it on the news the next day and it really did something to him. And the content on the song is really talking about there's really not no promises in life. You just got to go through things just to go through it and on the on what his lyrics he's talking about as far as relationship wise his your friends it's really not no promises so you just gotta make it do what it do my favorite song is number three drown and featuring Kodak black this is actually a remix like from what i'm heard from what i heard drowning was a hot song in new york and the label wanted him to put Kodak black on it as a remix and they just threw it on an album and you know it's it's a really dope song as far as a single wise this was a perfect choice off of what i heard out of off of the whole 15 tracks on the album and Kodak black he did his thing and then they you know how they flowed on the song was really dope well what i dislike about the bigger artists is that you know the production was okay i mean it was okay it was really nothing it wasn't really nothing that really surprised me as far as production and beats i mean the instrumentals on here sound really plain and you know it just didn't wow me i don't know i don't know what it is it's just i don't know if he went with the producers he usually work with or it was just that he's has a poor choice of picking beats but 
it was uh, number 12 effing and kissing featuring Chris Brown was really annoying to me it's just it's for from them trying to collaborate it was like they was more of yelling than singing and the reverb they used on that song really was annoying like they could have just did without and if you have a talent like Chris Brown on that song that, that collab should have been more better than what it was. I was really disappointed in that. But my least favorite song is number 15, Beast Mode, featuring PNB Rock and NBA Youngboy. To me, PNB Rock was the worst part, the worst part of this album. Like, PNB Rock, you cannot sing, man, especially with your vocals and what you did on this song. I mean, NBA Youngboy did a decent job as far as his feature on it. Like, he just did a straight up 16 bars, you know. He really wasn't talking about anything, but PNB Rock, I mean, come on, bro. Come on, bro. But let me go ahead and rate The Bigger Artist by A Boogie with the Hoodie. I'ma give it a six out of 10. I mean, it wasn't a terrible project, but it was a decent project from coming from a New York artist that has a big buzz. And you know, the average listener, you know, will go through this album and it say, says it's decent. It's a decent project. It's not terrible. It's a couple of joints on here that I like, just like Drowning and No Promises and Get To You and Money Sprung with Don Q. Don Q does an excellent job as far as features, but it's an okay album. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. But what do you think of A Boogie With The Hoodie, The Bigger Artist? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think he's the hottest New York artist out right now? Do you think he has longevity? Do you think he's sweating up under that hoodie he has on? Put that in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV. And if you're an artist, you want your music reviewed, hit me up on Instagram, on Twitter, at Black Music. B-L-A-C-M-U-Z-I-C. It has to be hip hop. I can't stress that enough. It has to be hip hop. I don't do R&B. I don't do reggae. I don't do other genres. So if you have a hip hop album or mixtape, hit me up. So with that being said, I'll holla next time on Black TV. Yeah!